<clears throat> All right, guys, so it's been, I did some napping. I made some, um, a bunch of bi faces. I've had other stuff going on, so I haven't had a chance to really do any, do much like finish work, but here's this piece we're back on again. Now, I drew lines on it for my notches. I typically don't do that. And I'm still got some finish work done here. I'm gonna bevel these edges, but I'm gonna bevel the edges after I do the notches. And if that's correct or not, I don't know. But it's the way I'm gonna do it. And I, like I said, I typically do not draw my lines on my pieces for my notches. I just just do it. And if I screw it up, I screw it up. But this actually might screw me up putting lines on it. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes. But I made a couple new tools yesterday. I was I was um, cutting some antler because me and my wife sell uh, like beginner flint napping kits on our uh, Etsy shop, and it's it's they're all abo abo kits like Hammerstone and Spantler. But I made this new notching tool, and I found these to work the best for me for uh, pressure notching. This is my old one. I'm probably gonna use, use this one here in the, in the video because I'm not really familiar with this one yet. But, uh, and basically you can see what I'm doing. I'm cutting everything else away because most of the the soft pithy stuff is is in the center and the hardest part of these antlers is, which you can see in this one here, you can see where it's white and where it's darker on that outer edge. And that's the stuff you want for notching. Even with your punches, if you're gonna punch, which I don't really have any good I don't have any good punches, mine are all. That's something else I need to work on too. I did do some punch notching. If you saw the other Harden I made, I punched those notches, but I, I lost that piece of antler I was using for those, for those notches. But so, put some here to the side for now. Oh, I made this here too. I made a, this is my old, this is my old issue. And it works good, but it, the, the wood's kind of thick and I wanted some fl some more flex on the piece so I, I can build up some power on it. So I took a piece of, I don't even know what kind of tree it is. It's, it's on my property somewhere in the, in the woods and these branches grow really straight out right out of the ground. And I do it in a landscaping business, but I'm not familiar with this type of wood. But it has some flex to it a little bit and I put a, two different antlers on each end. So you, so you have the option to use either a fatter tip or a thinner tip piece of antler. I'm trying to think what else I recently made. I don't know. All right, well, let's, let's ruin this piece. Oh, and for anybody that's concerned, I do nap in my basement in the winter but i have a fan i don't know if you can see it yeah you can see it over there <clears throat> i always have that blowing so it takes everything away from me people say you can get, you'll get silicosis if you nap inside and uh, i've napped without a fan down here before because i just kind of started beating on a piece of rock when i was down here checking my wood furnace and i just got into it and just forgot to turn the fan on. And I know when I go upstairs, because of me having my, my beard and stuff, I can feel the greediness in my beard. When I run the fan, there's nothing. It, you know, it just blows it away. And I have a couple uh, windows open in my basement too. All right, I'm trying to make sure that this tool is gonna be deep enough to get in these notches, but I might have to switch over to that new tool at some point. I do have some other notching tools too, I didn't try. I need to work on those on, on some smaller pieces first, but.
come back and do some touch up on, on that one then, but it's basically there's the first notch. Now, obviously that wasn't too difficult, but <clears throat> matching them up is always difficult when you do one notch at a time. A lot of guys, and even me, I'll, I'll work up some of this notch and I'll work up some of this, and I'll go back and forth so I know I'm getting even notches. When, you're, when you do it this way, yeah, you're taking a huge risk that you're, you're gonna stall out stall out the notch somewhere at some point or um, you're going to break off and that's the biggest thing stalling something most times you can you can get yourself out of it with antler it's a lot more difficult but for the most part you can get yourself out of it but if you break off something more than what you were uh, initially planning to break off you know then then you have a problem so This is recording. <sighs> yeah, and I, I definitely haven't notched anything in a few weeks. Probably. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna and this time here, I'm doing this a little differently. I'm saving some of this room here for my errors so then I can come back. If I get stalled out on this platform in this thinner notch I'm starting, I can come over here and nip some off and then continue this up into the piece, if that makes sense. Probably doesn't, but it doesn't make sense to me either. But I try to give myself some kind of place, uh, like a bailout point where I can come back in and fix something if I need to. You just don't want to get a really steep edge when you're using antler to notch with. And what I mean by that is, you, st you still want to have the same kind of platform set up for notching that you you would use if you were doing um, billet work with a uh, with a moose billet or a or a white or a white tail billet. You want to use the same platforms because the, ant the antler's going to grab the same way with these notches. It's going to grab the same way it does when you're you're doing dr uh, percussion work too. Okay. 
See, I let myself a little, I almost had it stalled there. I let myself a little bit of leeway. This antler is getting a weird angle on it. Let's see if we can't switch that around. Okay, we're good to go here again. We brought the other notch up in there a little bit farther. Still a little bit low on this one here, so. Might have given me just enough to get up into this piece here yet. There it was. Okay. This notch is a little bit more round than I would have liked, but. Um, Actually, there it is. I got it on that last flake. All right, so here's where we are now with this piece. Now, come in here and do, come in here and do some, just some touch-up work. 